As we begin our <coughs> retreat of another plug for uh, uh, kind of, uh, you know, how we're holding the practice. <coughs> And, uh, um, you know, obviously the Buddha did teach a lot about um, <coughs> different aspects of technique and method and, and, uh, uh, and it's, uh, it has a, um, it has an importance. Um, but I think also just trying to um, get a context of how to use different um, methods, techniques, <coughs> uh, particular particulars of practice, <coughs> and uh, and recognizing that that oftentimes how the Buddha uh, approaches the practice is is really from a, a, a kind of like a, an organic um, um, kind, of a, a kind of a big picture, complete uh, uh, view, <coughs> and. And to uh, and trying to to uh, um, encompass that uh, for ourselves. <coughs> I think one of the the uh, um, most clear and tangible examples of 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 uh, of that for the Buddha's approach is the uh, <coughs> there's a discourse uh, in the Anguttara um, uh, the tens uh, Sutta number two um, and the the title of the the uh, the, the Sutta is volition um, and uh <coughs> And it starts off with the, I mean, it, it's that sense of causes and conditions being put into place, uh, and and therefore um, reaping the uh, the fruits or the results of that, uh, and, uh, um, and 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 starting with with virtue, <coughs> and that. Uh, that uh, and the Buddha saying that um, th there's no real need for a virtuous person uh, to uh, set the intention. You know, may I experience uh, non-regret, non-remorse? <coughs> uh, it is natural that um, one would experience that. Similarly, and, and experiencing <coughs> non-regret, non-remorse, a sense of, of, of you know, clarity and well-being in one's uh, with one's uh, conduct, and it, it's <coughs> there's <coughs> no need to set the intention or put forth the will. You know, may I. <coughs> Experience uh, gladness, and and, and uh, it's, it's uh, the Buddha saying it's natural. Um, and then he goes through that whole process <coughs> of, uh, the, and it's something that I mentioned that yesterday as well. But in this sutta, and I could look, okay, gladness, joy, <coughs> tranquility, happiness. Concentration, <coughs> <coughs> and uh, uh, but in this sutta, uh, the Buddha takes it from from 
say, from concentration on to um, seeing things clearly, experiencing dispassion, disenchantment, uh, and, and liberation, and knowledge and vision of liberation. Um, and that <coughs> it's not something that is, is to be um, um, it's not like you're trying to squeeze out um, gladness or joy um, out of your <laughs> out of your meager being. I mean, it's it's when we fill the the uh, uh, the heart and fill uh, the the uh, uh, yeah our, our being with with a sense of of. Yeah, of Virtue or gladness, um, and that that there, it's quite natural. And the word <coughs> that the, uh, the the Buddha uses uh, for that is dham, dhammata. Um, dhammata, and it means like according uh, according to dhamma, uh, according to dhamma, according to truth, and. Uh, and it's a say that that is a word that is um, used in ordinary colloquial Thai, um, and, and there's always a uh, <coughs> in in Thai the uh, oftentimes the use of, of T's and D's gets transposed from the Pali and the Thai, and uh, so that the word tamada, and tamada means like yeah ordinary natural. Uh, just say it's ordinary tamada, uh, <coughs> and but this is is you know, it has a you know, it has a deep meaning uh, of that. So this is uh, uh, according to dhamma, according to fundamental um, you know, realities of, of truth. This is the way it works. This is the way the universe works. <coughs> so to. Uh, um, you know, paying attention to the the qualities that do uh, support uh, a sense of of well being, uh, and uh, and of course it uh, again because it all ties in. But the the uh, that, uh, the effort of, of uh <coughs> Incre what is it that is for the increase of wholesome dhammas and the decrease of unwholesome dhammas? Um, that is uh, so that 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 uh, yeah, virtue uh, is a, is a uh, uh, is for the increase of wholesome qualities, wholesome dhammas. Um, it uh, um, say. Happiness, joy, appreciation, um, love and kindness. <coughs> Those are all qualities that we can be um, attending to, we can be cultivating, and they, they do uh, lay this foundation within the, uh, within the, the jitta, within the mind, the heart. Uh, f uh, for uh, well-being, wholesome dhammas increase, unwholesome dhammas decrease. <coughs> it's a, uh, it is a, a, a natural um, <coughs> uh, progression, and the the uh, um, thinking of the this is in, in just the way the Buddha. Uh, the uh, describes the, the the say the cultivation of our meditation. The we which he wagamehi, we which akusalehi dhammehi. So that secluded from sensuality, secluded from unwholesome dhammas, unwholesome qualities. So it's a. Uh, um, the, the whatever we can do to facilitate uh, that, uh, yeah, that increase of wholesome 
qualities, wholesome dhammas, wholesome states of mind, and uh, facilitate the the decrease. I mean, one, it's it, there is it is right effort, but it also the the effect is it it sets this cause and effect relationship, natural cause and condition relationship that tends to uh, a refining uh, of the of the jitta, a sensitivity of the jitta uh, that that uh, uh, opens it to settling, uh, to stillness, to clarity, um, to relinquishment, to release. And these are that is a like a dhammata. It's according to dhamma. It's a it is a <coughs> this is the natural way of things. So to be uh, uh, attending to ways that we can be uh, facilitating that. <coughs> and of course the, um, our precepts, our um, <coughs> monastic protocols, our etiquette that is uh, m- uh, tuning into uh, appropriateness of of, uh, of our uh, actions of body and speech. Um, yeah, it's, it, I mean, it's it beautifies the heart. Um, I mean, we don't need to be keeping precepts because of fear of divine retribution or, or I mean it, it's uh, it is a <coughs> an opportunity to you know, to beautify the heart uh, and to to um, create the conditions for uh, increased refinement and clarity um, Again, it's a natural process. We don't need to be squeezing it out of us. Um, they, they, uh, and, and you know, some of it is <coughs> our own efforts, but also <coughs> paying attention to uh, to the the, uh, the 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 conduct of others. Um, you know, the, the reality is we're I- incredibly blessed to live with people who value virtue, you know, who, who value sensitivity, who value honesty and integrity. Um, you know, and, uh, <coughs> and it's, it's incredibly rare in the world uh, uh, and to, to 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 really make that conscious and to delight in it it's just again this uh, when setting it up in that way it's just that it's quite natural that there would be <coughs> uh, that delight that pamoja gladdening um, you know, of course, the, the mind, um, you know, the habitual mind, or our um, uh, kind of tendencies. I mean, we can uh, we can easily uh, hone in on on our flaws, our faults, uh, the, the flaws and faults of others, and and uh, and obsess over it, and. Um, and, and 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 basically you know, create pain for ourselves <coughs> and others <coughs> but it's you know, again it's so important to have that bigger picture and it's not that you you're not sensitive i mean that's one of the things is 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 that that, that hiri otapa is a uh, um 
And there's a very wholesome quality that has this sense of uh, conscience and 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 wish to 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 uh, um, to, to dwell in, in integrity. Um, <coughs> And uh, um, so that, that uh, uh, but yeah, it's having the balance um, so that one is not forgetting that, 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 that bigger picture. Um, um, same when we're, you know, when we're, you know, sit down to meditate, you know, paying attention to the, well, I was just as whatever, meditation object we use, but let's say using the breath, um, paying attention to the to the, the, the in-breath, the out-breath, paying attention to the body, soothing the body with the, the, the breath, settling the mind with the uh, uh, kind of like the breath filled body and it's a uh, and there's an ease that comes from from the you know the awareness and mindfulness but as well just the you know, that, that a kind of appreciation of stillness tranquility calming uh, it has that appreciation for the for the calm you know we don't have to get kind of all tied up and not starting to hang on to it or trying to force it to be there I mean that's one of the problems as we get <coughs> we do get tied up and it's just being able to step back and okay when we when we attend to the to the breath, attend to the posture, attend to the, to, to the mindfulness and clear comprehension. Um, there's an ease and a, and a settling uh, that quite naturally takes place. And to be able to, to foster that, to uh, abide in that, to dwell in that. Uh, and so that, that, uh, being able to to uh, uh, direct our attention uh, in that way, uh, and and that that uh, um, you know and it's not about kind of developing our personality or our our uh, uh, trying to become the perfect person. Um, it's just learning how to be. Mindful, appreciating, uh, say the things that we do have, or the, what we do experience, and that's that. Uh, uh, as a member of Limpa, it's a made all the time. Say, you know, it's just, you know, I'm, I'm absolutely certain that my personality is never going to be enlightened, and and, and it's quite true. On that, that that's uh, the nature of kind of the personality, personhood, uh, the kind of me and mine stance is <coughs> always going to be fraught with praise and blame, gain and loss, happiness, suffering. <coughs> that's, the, that's its very nature. And to be able to step back into the process of what is in accordance with Dhamma, Dhammata, uh, what is actually natural, uh, uh, what is according to nature, when we are, are willing to drop all the other um, fears and concerns and obsessions and desires and all of the, when we drop all that, what is, what is left? Uh, and and there's it's this tremendous opportunity for 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 stillness and clarity and well-being. Um, 
But it's a, and, and again, it's, it's, it's a natural process. It relies, and it relies on the, on the wholesome. It relies on the, on the, uh, on the skillful. <coughs> uh, that, that use of, like, a loving kindness. Uh, so Bhante G is a loving friendliness. That's a really a, a, sw- a, a sweet term, and that, that, but that sense of of, uh, of metta uh, as a, a field of of of, of well being. That when that is a, that when we do the chant, may I abide in well being. Uh, May everyone abide in well-being. That that kind of wish uh, is is a I mean, it's a very beautiful state of mind. It's a very um, it's a, there's an uplift to it, it uh, and on a very practical level. <coughs> again, it's it's. It is so overwhelmingly wholesome uh, that it, it's a it's a really uh, skillful, powerful doorway into uh, into uh, say samadhi, into into the settling of the mind. <coughs> it's very hard for the mind to. Settle into stillness through um, analysis and comparing and and judging. Um, that is is extremely difficult, if not impossible. But the the the, the, the quality of loving kindness <coughs> as a, a a foundation as a field that the transition from like and especially in in conjunction with the breath, it's like using the breath, and then it's like riding the breath with loving kindness. There is a moving into stillness. Uh, it's quite a a natural um, process. <coughs> Dhammata. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 this is a, according to according to Dhamma. That, as I say, that, that, that secluded from sensuality, secluded from unwholesome dhammas. That's your basic foundation for uh, the, the, the uh, say, samma samadhi, for right, uh, right concentration. <coughs> so using yeah, loving kindness, uh, turning to it, making it conscious. Uh, and again, it's not that we don't have it and in the same way it's not that we don't have virtue we're inc- uh, I mean again uh, uh, amongst this group of individuals it'd be hard to find more virtuous beings um, but when it's not made conscious or it's not appreciated or it's not recognized or facilitated as the field then it it uh, um, say one more uh, m- misses that opportunity. So it's making conscious uh, and using that yoni somanisikara, that wise attention, um, that considered reflection, so that one is attending to the wholesome, um, attending to to the loving kindness, attending to to compassion, to, to gladness, to appreciation, um, to equanimity. Those are, say, the, the Brahma Viharas. <coughs> these are these are abidings that are yeah, they're, they're truly divine. They're divine abidings. Um, because of their not because they take you somewhere else but because they, they Place one front and center, s- in right in the middle, of what is completely wholesome, um, and 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 the mind settles. Uh, 
it has that opportunity to 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 to, to be happy within that and not be again we we tend to be seeking for some kind of perfection of personality rightness of our personality you know uh, we need to be and so then that puts us all in doubt um, and puts us into uncertainty but the the filling the the uh, uh, jitta the heart with 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 this qualities that the Buddha keeps pointing to over and over again. <coughs> um, so it's a, it, it, it's a, uh, um, again, looking at, again, looking at it from the, from the place of the, the, uh, um, the, the, uh, kind of a, a bigger picture. Um, and not getting too tied up in the the uh, the nuts and bolts of which, say, mental state comes first. Which uh, you know, how many how many jeta seekers of this is needed for that? I mean, it's uh, uh, there's uh, and there's lots of people who would be happy to explore that, but that's you know, uh, to me, it doesn't seem that fruitful. That the Buddha is giving us um, yeah, the tools. To, you know, to, I teach only the suffering and the ending of suffering, and so that to be able to recognize, okay, this um, feeling of limitation, this feeling of of <coughs> uh, of lack. Uh, this feeling of somehow being, um, uh, you know, I kind of sort of I mean, there's this feeling of somehow being at fault for something or other. It's all very vague, um, and mm, recognize this is suffering. That is, you know, we can analyze it. We can, we can. Uh, uh, struggle with it, we can demonize it, we can whatever, but just to be able to, this is suffering. Uh, and then, okay, and what is the cessation of suffering? What is the, the ending of suffering? Or what is the non-arising of suffering? Um, Dukkha Niroda, uh, non-arising of, of suffering. And so to all of the the components of the process, you know, the virtue of gladness, of joy, of tranquility, of happiness, samadhi, stillness, seeing things in their true nature, um, dispassion, disenchantment, um, and so that, that those are all partake of the the the, the that that they have that flavor of the the, 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 the non-arising of dukkha, the cessation of dukkha. So I'd say, um, and again, that's a dhammata. This is this is according to uh, uh, this is accords with dhamma. This is natural. Uh, that's a a natural process uh, that we can be be plugging into. Um, you know, there's m m many ways that we can be doing that in our, uh, you know, just things, you know, how we approach practice. Um, you know, how do we see p ourselves practicing? You know, is it me that is uh, lacking in um, meditative skill and lacking in wisdom that has to uh, get you know, more stillness, more wisdom, um, or, or is it is it a uh, a, a, a sense of of uh, um, right up? You know, I have this, I have this life, I have this body, this mind, I have this jitta, 
this mind, this heart, that can distinguish between happiness and suffering. Um, and can I incline it toward that which is is really uh, is uplifting, is beneficial um, for myself and for others? Um, can I can yeah, of course. Um, so and then can I can I do that not so much as a, a personal project to enhance my personality, but the, 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 the that, that giving of oneself to the practice because it, it is according to Dhamma. It is a, it is a uh, uh, it would be a wise way to accord with nature. Uh, and that's a very different approach and the result is very different. Um, so then it's and then that's that's uh, and then seeing, yeah, there's like uh, like uh, dedicating our, our 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 practice for the well-being uh, of others, um, seeing that that it was trying to bring uh, bring more goodness and peace into the world, and it's not uh, as I say again, it's not. Personalized, but it is, it is a recognition that according to you know just uh, very naturally, um, you know people uh, people ap appreciate something that is peaceful, is clear, is uh, is is t worthy of trust, trustworthy. Um, and that is that is is associated with a, a happiness that is not it's not consumer based it's not um, just a, a, a gratification of of the senses but it is a, a it is a, a a happiness that is yeah is unalloyed it's, it stands on its own it's or it's based on skillfulness of goodness and it has no it doesn't have the same kind of problematic quality um, it's like the uh, in the story of the Buddha when, when he uh, <coughs> I mean uh, uh, he's fully committed to to um, following the path of liberation that uh, is the accepted standard um, in his time and, and even in, um, in, in modern times. And there's that, that path of um, asceticism, renunciation of, of, uh, of uh, yeah, but extreme asceticism, and uh, and the Buddha was was incredibly gung ho. Um, the uh <coughs> I'm reading this book on the uh, history of Tibet, and and uh, and it's a it's a uh, um, it's like a, a historian talking in conversation with with His Holiness the Dalai Lama, and uh, so it's it's not a scholastic um, history, but it's a um, and it's, he relies on scholasticism, but it's a series of conversations, and and uh, um, uh, so. But anyway, the the uh, uh, the the author asks um, His Holiness uh, what his uh, favorite um, Buddha image is, and uh, and and His Holiness, uh, his favorite image is the one that was found in northern. 
Pakistan of the Gandhara style of the, the Buddha at the peak of his extreme asceticism. It's this very grim, eyes sunken, um, um, and as the Buddha describes, ribs standing out like rafters on a you know crazy building, and his uh, his stomach he can be he can touch his 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 belly and feel his feel his his uh, his spinal spinal column, and uh, and of course the, the 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 author is just what <laughs> how, how can that be and 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 and. Uh, and then His Holiness said, it, 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 what it does to him, this re, reminds him of the um, dedication of the Buddha, the willingness of the Buddha to give everything for, for liberation. And, and I, you know, I thought that was a, a very moving, and uh, that may, you know, regularly, I tend to anyway, you think of, well, okay, that was a, a fruitless kind of uh, endeavor, and, and uh, there's a nice Buddha like this, and he's, <laughs> you know, he's peaceful and smiling. And, but but, but uh, uh, it's sort of that, 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 that uh, you know, the Buddha really, you know, he tried everything, and of course, and he said, it, "This is this is fruitless," and it's, it's, that's in his first discourse. Um, uh, that the uh, 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 this is an extreme that is not to be uh, to be taken, and because it, it's it's painful and and it, it, it doesn't bear fruit, but. The, um, but it's in that that uh, I in the in the Buddha recollecting his, it's in the uh, Mahasachika Sutta. Uh, it's, it's, he's he's uh, uh, talking about his practices to uh, another ascetic uh, Satchika. and uh, but it's at that point that he he thinks back. To the time when he was uh, was a young boy, and sitting underneath the uh, in the shade of a tree, and his mind became very still, and he experienced tremendous happiness. And, and that that thought, you know, is that happiness? Why do I fear that happiness? That is a happiness that is not. Um, it, it's not to do with sensuality. It's not to do with unwholesome things. That, that, that secluded from sensuality, secluded from unwholesome <coughs> dhammas. Uh, it is completely uh, wholesome. You know, why do I fear that? And uh, you know, and I think that that is is a uh, um, it's, you know that's how the Buddha felt. That's how probably most of us feel. That sense of you know you don't want to feel too good, and you know, I might be indulging. I might be you know so oh I'm going to pay for this. You know, <laughs> and, uh, but it's uh, uh, so that but. but that sense of, of directing attention to to the what's what the Buddha calls nirmisa sukha, so like the happiness that is not of the and it, it's nirmisa is is sort of like of the flesh, but then it's it's um, it's a bit more nuanced than that. In the sense that, because I mean, you see, in, in in English, I mean, you have that that kind of uh, yeah, you know, saying pleasures of the flesh and, and pleasures, of the flesh. but that that, but it's also the word is it's yeah, it is flesh, but it's also bait. It's that sort of with it's the happiness that is not doesn't have it's not bait for 
set in a trap. It's not bait that you use to put on the end of a hook and catch it or catch something. And so it is, it is, yeah, it's a happiness that is unalloyed. <coughs> so that, that uh, yeah, virtue, mindfulness, um, settling the, the heart, reflecting and, and, and considering what is natural? What accords with Dhamma? What is Dhammata? Um, and w what are those processes of cause and condition that, that, that lead to, 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 to release? Uh, to so that, 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 uh, that is the, you know, the non-arising of Dukkha. So it's a, it's an exploration that that uh, it, 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 it it's not that we start right from and that's so there's I think again this big picture so recognizing that you know <coughs> if we start with that perspective it's going to take us in that direction if we start with this that perspective you know, like I've got to to uh, <coughs> I've got to get this, I've got to gain that, I've got to ach achieve this, attain that, in order to become something like a good practitioner. Uh, we've, we, we tend to tie ourselves up. Um, and it's not that it doesn't have a conventional basis, but it's the assumptions underneath take us in ways that... that, that uh, Entangle us, and that itself is kind of a mm, that's kind of a baited hook as well. Uh, and so that that uh, to be uh, you know, directing our attention to the the uh, you know, this kind of this bigger picture, the sense of what accords with dhamma. And of course, that's a whole other sphere of of, of the wholesome. It's just this kind of respect and gratitude for the Dhamma, respect and gratitude for the teachings, respect and gratitude for the practices that we do have. And it's that, the, the, so that feeding, <coughs> nourishing, nurturing our practice. Okay, well, I talked for a long time.